How's it going everyone? Akibana Zero here and I'm back with another Camp Camp reaction and now we've entered season two. Time to kick off season two with episode one. Uh, season one ended in a very heartwarming but in a very Camp Camp sort of way heartwarming I have to say way. It was really really cool, it was really nice, it was kind of emotional as well and all of that stuff but now back to some uh, you know, good old camp camp fun, and this time we're checking out episode one of season two titled Cult Camp, and the thumbnail shows a guy who looks oddly, uh, oddly very close to what David looks like, but he has blonde hair, so, hmm, I wonder what that's gonna be all about. Let's find out by hitting up the episode. <laughs> sleeps with a log. Cedar. Good oh. morning, David! Good morning, Gwen! Is Wait, this is backwards. <laughs> yep, but today's the day. <gasps> You've realized your love of Camp Campbell and everything it stands for? Hell no! <laughs> of course not. Help wanted. That's right. Found a stash of cash Campbell hid in the quartermaster store behind a box of grenades. Box of I don't grenades. know, Gwen. Are you sure we really need more help? Of course you need more help. And there's Sorry, a grenade. Foul ball. Yes! Foul ball. Hello? I'm here for the job listing? Oh my god! Yes! This is... Good morning! <laughs> I guess! Smell that fresh mountain air. Gosh, now that's the kind of nature you don't just find in any old neck of the woods. Oh, dear lord, no. <laughs> Look at her face! Oh, well, hello there, friend. Where are my manners? My name is Daniel, your camp counselor applicant. David and I hope Daniel. I'm not too late to submit my resume. <laughs> too late? You're the first one. <laughs> are you pulling my leg? <laughs> no leg pulling here, but we are keen on handshakes. Well, who isn't? <laughs> the name's David. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, David. <laughs> the pleasure's the all same. mine, Daniel. <laughs> so, what sort of experience do you have? Well, sadly, my old camp was recently shut down, and ever since I've been searching night and day for a new group of eager young kiddos I can help to educate and reach their full potential. Did you hear that, Gwen? He's I think in we full just hit white, the jackpot. By the way. This was a great idea. You know, I think now's the perfect time for me to use my vacation days. Aw, oh, Gwen, are, are you, you sure? sure? <laughs> well, more fun for us. Come on, Daniel. He totally looks like a cult you're master. Just fine. I think so too, David. I think so too. Enthusiastic cult leader leaves. Whatever you do, do not hire this man. Muffin tops, all you can eat. Shrimp. Camp Campbell is the place for me and you. And no, that's a hyperbole. And that concludes my presentation on what is and is not a baseball. So, any questions? <laughs> With grenades. Yes, Max. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Why, what an excellent question. Campbell Campers, I'd like you all to give a warm welcome to our newest co-counselor, Daniel. Howdy, kiddos. Howdy do, Daniel. <laughs> You've got to be shitting me. Ho oh, ho, watch the language there, little fella. Watch the language indeed. Just because Daniel here is new doesn't mean you should treat him any different than you treat me. <laughs> got it. Yeah. He is you, David. <laughs> Save for the outfit. Seriously, freak show. What's with the cult leader get up? The cult leader get up. You must be Max. I've heard all about you. Okay. Daniel, I am so sorry about this terrible behavior. Oh, don't you worry, co-counselor. They're just ragging on the new guy. <laughs> I thought this might happen. And so for my first day as camp counselor, I've prepared several exercises that are going to help cleanse all of us of our negative emotions. Well, that sounds wonderful. It does. You kids are definitely in good hands. I'll go finish up your employment paperwork. In the meantime, try not to have too much fun without me. Just kidding. Have all the fun you want. <laughs> so, children, is there anybody here who has an interest in space? Oh, 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 me, me, 
Oh, really? Well, that's wonderful! Yeah! <laughs> I know all sorts of stuff about space. Well, did you know that all negative emotions actually come from space? Oh, uh, well, uh, no, I, I didn't. It's true. Our atmosphere is under constant bombardment from negative emotions tied to dark toxins. These toxins cling to the matter left over from the Big Bang, <laughs> meaning that even if we're all pure of heart at birth, we're bathing in a negative rich this, environment every this second. This just sounds like Scientology Whoa. on steroids. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> Are you suggesting that the massive explosion responsible for the creation of the universe is also responsible for some sort of endless radioactive evil? Oh no, not at all. The Big Bang didn't create the universe. It was just a side effect of the Millennia Wars started by Zemug and the Galactic Confederacy. Right. <laughs> you must be Neil. David told me you were quite the inquisitive little fellow. Hey, buddy. Let's try hey, to buddy. recognize some personal space here. Why do you feel the need to question everything, Neil? What good has it led to? Well, for one, I'm not walking around talking about Zemug. But are you happy with your life? Are you at peace? Or do you find yourself filled with anxiety and doubt? Doesn't the world seem awfully scary? It does. Well, what if I told you it didn't have to be? I don't really know what you're selling here, Daniel, but I am buying it. Then help me <laughs> totally. help you help others. Yeah, I'm helping. <laughs> Excellent. Now who else wants to help and reach ascension? <laughs> oh my fuck, he's actually a cultist. You hired a fucking cultist, you idiot. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, what's wrong, kids? And why aren't you with Daniel? Oh, you mean the batshit crazy cult leader you just put in charge of the camp? Again with these cult jokes, Max? Please. He gave everyone a detoxification diet, then started spouting off Latin from a book with a pentagram. He's bilingual and cares about <laughs> nutrition? Hey, David. Yes, Nikki? Wake up and smell the Kool-Aid! <laughs> if you don't believe Slapped us, him. come see for yourself. Well, what a pleasant surprise. David, kids, welcome. Welcome. Wowzers, welcome. Daniel. This all looks incredible. What's it for? Why, it's to celebrate, of course. Your campers have all been so cooperative, and by the end of the day, I know everyone here will be cleansed of their hateful ways and ready to ascend to the next level. Hey, where are the campers? Most are helping prepare for today's festivities, but a few of them are still hanging around in the purification sauna. You built a sauna? The that is not the word to focus on, David. 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 Dolph, Nerf, why don't you show your friends to the sauna so they'll quit worrying and start hurrying? Their way to fun. <laughs> Look at their faces. So, who wants to go first? Please, someone help me! Help me! No! I would just like to point out the fucked up implications of specifically you putting specifically me into a gas chamber. <laughs> of oh, course! This is no gas chamber. We just use high pressured steam and subliminal messaging to deconstruct your psyche and rebuild you in a form that will please the agent vans. And I love it. <gasps> Oh, hey guys. <laughs> you dudes are just in time to help prep oh, for the what is that? party. Daniel says that once we've all been cleansed, <laughs> we shall consume this wonderful elixir and ascend to our final form. Hmm, was better in Jonestown. Isn't that right, Daniel? <laughs> right you <laughs> are, Neris. Ah! Max, do something! You maniac! You brainwashed the entire camp! Brainwashed? No, no, no. I just appealed to their emotions and showed them the light. People don't want to think, Max. They just want to feel safe. And feelings beat facts any day. <laughs> With his neck. Now, oh, don't shit. you want to feel safe, too? There you are. I was wondering where everyone had run off to. David! Oh, thank God! You have to stop him! He's insane! Max, I have had it up to hear with your the background today. But it's all right here, right in front of you. Proof that Daniel's actually a religious cult leader that's gonna brainwash and kill every last one of us. We love you, Daniel. Well, all I see are happy faces. Great work, Daniel. <laughs> He's so oblivious. Thanks, David. All right, kids, let's start pouring that punch and prepare for ascension. Yay! Fine. If thinking is too hard, I'll do it Daniel's way. David, you're right. I've been awfully mean today. Oh, it's okay, Max. I know making new friends <laughs> can sometimes be him. a little scary. Well, 
It's just because I was scared for you. For me? I mean, it's just so obvious that Daniel's a better camp counselor than you. What are you talking about? Just look at him. In one day, he's managed to get everyone happy and working together. Something you and Gwen could never do. Everyone loves Daniel. We love you, Daniel. Well, that's good. Well, good for us, sure. But you? Once Cameron finds out that one camp counselor can do the job of two, he's definitely gonna let you and Gwen go. Boy, I sure am glad I fired the heck out of those other two loser counselors. All I need is you, Daniel, and no one else. <laughs> I said no one else. <laughs> oh, no. I can't imagine a life without Camp Campbell. But surely Daniel can't be that threatening. I mean, it's not like everyone loves him, right, Max? Max? I love you, Daniel. Oh, no. What? That's not right. Max doesn't love anything. So, David, care to Rain join us for Max. a drink? Hmm. Daniel, I'm actually afraid that we need to let you go. I just don't think you're a good fit for Camp Campbell. Oh, I see. Well, it is unfortunate you feel that way, David. Yeah, I'm afraid it's just not... However, as far as I'm aware, I've successfully met every requirement listed in my job description. So you don't actually have the legal right to terminate my employment. Unless, of course, you think there's an aspect of this job I've yet to uphold. As a matter of fact, there is. You may be a good camp counselor, Daniel, but what good is a camp counselor without camp songs? <gasps> Why, David, I thought you'd never ask. <gasps> <laughs> I hope this won't sound impolite. Or come across as too forthright But even though you seem <laughs> all right I think I'm better than you <laughs> Now please do keep this thought in mind That's just my personal conviction You're smart and fun, you're sweet and kind I'd call our friendship an addiction Your shoes are shine, your breath dull chain But still I find I have to say I think I might be better than you Counter. You seem impressed with what you've shown, but I don't find it that compelling. You've sung my praise, but not your own, and well, I think that's pretty telling. But while we're on the subject of how I'm superb and leagues above you, ought to know I'm number one. I know that might be hard to swallow. Ooh. This hurts you just as much as me. But when this song is sung, then you and I'll know that you're just a nobody. Well, friend, I don't know what to say. Try starting with your resignation. Let's end this <laughs> in Try the finale. Your resignation. I'm dying from anticipation. You really agree to let me say you dedicate really to me. The fact that breaks you out the game before I can speak to I think I'm more <laughs> than you. Don't and hate me because it's true. true. <laughs> he drank the poison. <laughs> <sighs> Poor guy. Must have been some bad fruit punch. You're a moron. She well, is. kids, I guess that's the last we'll be seeing of Daniel. From now on, it's just you, me, and... Gwen. David, fire that fucking weirdo, because I found us our newest camp counselor. Jen. I'm really into fashion and trashy magazines. Yeah. <laughs> kill, kill, kill. Howdy, Jed. <laughs> Yo, I beat cancer like Michael Jackson's father. Now I'm back in the water. Time to raise a Jolly Roger. Excellent start to the season. <laughs> I mean, cultist David is just epic by every proportions possible. And that whole joke about Dolph and putting people in the gas chamber. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious, and if you thought it was hilarious as well, please leave the video a like and subscribe to my channel by mashing on that subscribe button because it helps a lot. I'd like to thank my patrons for supporting me, and if you would like to do the same, please head over to patreon.com slash Zero. That's gonna do it with this reaction, guys. I'm gonna catch you next time.